Welcome to What's the 4 and 1, your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cox. I'm Onika McLean. Hey, girl. How hey, you doing? Girl. How are you? <laughs> Good. Wait. So, in wedding news, wedding. Mm, so, nice. Eva Marcel. Did you, I remember you her. Have, with yes. the eyes and America's Next Top Model. Yep. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Now she's on uh, Housewives of, of Atlanta. Oh. But she oh, got okay. married recently. Mm, yes. Okay. To Michael Sterling. He is gorgeous. Yeah. They have, like, a beautiful boy that's, like, oh, <laughs> So she had like that's a, what it is. Yeah, he, you know, some babies are like whoa, 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 and, <laughs> and so they have their okay. family. They got married. It was all over social media. Nice. Like it was like this fairy tale wedding. Yeah, I saw the pictures. I saw the um, the uh, housewives were there. You know, yeah. And, and so p babies, right? So babies are in the news, right? <laughs> Portia from the housewives is having a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? I know. Yeah. Yeah. And our, our princess of Sussex. Oh, right, Meghan yeah, Markle. Right, Sussex. I know. Yeah, Duchess of Sussex. Duchess of Sussex. Yes. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Prince Harry. It's supposed to be pregnant. Oh, she they wasted no time. Like none. Like she it was like ginger. Too much she was like. Eh. Uh, uh, well, you, that's the black girl magic girl. All you gotta do is sneeze. You be like, uh, first of all, first of all, right, right. Okay, sorry. And he's a woman. <laughs> So they they bill it as the fairy tale wedding of the century with Eva. So good for you. Congratulations, girl. I saw Yes, hopefully you have a very long marriage. Not like the mother Okay. I didn't say nothing. Oh, Greg, okay. Greg from has cancer, you know that from the housewives. Oh, um Nene's husband. No. Yeah, yeah. It's like so much stuff going on, a little housewives. I know because oh. nobody's really watching it anymore. Oh, oh sorry. That was Shay. Sorry, it's in my spirit. But <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> congratulations, Eva and Michael. Well, speaking of and marriage Portia. and all that stuff, actor Tay Diggs is saying to page six that he wishes he was, you know, booed up again. He's missing, you know, a little loving. I, no, I thought he was married to that white lady, no? No, no. He said his son doesn't want him dating anyone right now. No, but why? But he wants to be booed up. I think he just wants him to himself. Oh. Yeah, but that's how Nia is. She's like, you don't need him. I absolutely do. And you need to stop it. Tay, don't listen to that boy, because when he gets up and goes away and finds somebody, you're going to see him alone. Up. No, he, he will not, because Tay Diggs is far behind. When all yeah. that five seven, he's like, oh, I could just look up to you. Five seven and a half. That's my dream, man. That's tall, you're dark, sorry. and handsome for me, because I'm 4'11". That's why. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> this is when left. Take All right, I'm available. I'm available. Oh, okay. <laughs> no host is available. Who? K. Michelle. Apparently. Can't she's raise a man. Still upset about Idris Elba and the fact that he has not acknowledged that the two had a relationship. So she recently told Bossip, she was like, look, I felt like he didn't defend me. I feel like when people were calling me a liar again mm -hmm. about my relationship, I've been sitting here with this man for like nine months, nine. I just could not believe we were spending so much time together mm -hmm. and he just didn't come out and say, stop attacking her. Or he didn't come out and say, this is my friend. I know about this album. I know all of this. So she's still kind of well, in her He cannot say that. anything, K. Michelle, because he has a whole fiance. <laughs> right? I think they're married Are they already. married? I didn't see any wedding pictures. Married? I'm not sure. But he okay. has a whole woman, right? <laughs> a whole woman. A whole woman. I have a woman. Have a woman. <laughs> and some, some women are not going for that. Like, right. what? Especially like an Idris Elba kind of man. You have yeah. to keep him in check. Like, oh, really? Yeah, because even because he thinks he's too fine, too cute, too Not because he's just too fine or too cute. Just because if you give him like an inch, he is going to take a mile. Like all that. And then he has that British accent. He would be shutting so the, the hell up the, if he was that. my man. I'd be like, you, what? What would you say? K. Mahu? <laughs> K. Mahu? You said K. Mahu. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Let's drink to, <laughs> let's drink to K. Mahu. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Are you familiar with Simone Biles? Girl, who isn't? Oh, they we all not, know. They may not be. So she's an <laughs> Olympic gold medalist, mm -hmm. right? So she's teamed up with this company, Caboodle. Mm -hmm. So they are... Uh, they are ma they are colorful makeup and jewelry organizers. Oh, nice! Right, so you know, like little compartmental things, right? So cutie things. So they teamed up with her, and they're updating their line. They're having this active line where, oh. where so hers is going to going to be called active, and right. So so what it's going to be is going to be like. Um, if you go into the gym, you, yeah. there's a place for your yoga mats and oh, there's a place for so your water bottle and stuff like that. So, cool. so good for that's her, perfect. right? Go I, ahead, Simone. I love that entrepreneur. She's branching out. I love it. It's easy to be an So that's the thing, right? Focus on the thing that you're really good at, and then all these people will come to you because are they really your entrepreneurs? They're like, it's I very wish, true. right? You know, that's then, very true. Right. Very then true. the doors start opening. Follow for your you. passion, y'all. Right. Uh, Usher. Usher. 
Usher, okay. Usher okay. Raymond, <laughs> Usher Raymond. He has a new album that he's dropping. It's called A. Yeah, he dropped it. He dropped it already. Yeah, did you did you listen to it? Yeah, a little bit, right? Mm. So it's kind of like mm, 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 mm. you know what it is. I can't get over Carter Five. I can't play it. Little Wayne, yeah, shout out. We to have been it. talking about Carter Five. For the I keep playing it. I mean, shows. I mean, I'm telling you, it is the truth. And yay, but Carter Five is like but I don't you, know. But you disrespecting okay. Usher right now. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, sorry, Mr. Usher Raymond, because he's a Libra. <laughs> but so is. But so is. So is Little Wayne. Is Libra too. So team. Libra, sorry. So Usher, I just saw a good picture of it. He, um, Usher, Jay Z, Beyonce. They were, they were, they were at some doggone gala, and it was amazing. Really? Usher looks so young. God, Usher, he looks so good. So anyway, yeah. Well, he's. I think he's only only forty. So. Yeah, Should but he just been. looks younger than forty. Well, know? that's why he's trying to do that whole trap and beat, you know. Right. Tra- so, so, like, so that's his new thing. So he has these songs, and it's like trap and beat music. So R and B, but trap and beat. It's like <laughs> right. it's like instead of Luther Vandross, like turn off the lights, like turn off the lights, ho, like <laughs> like that, you know. Just but his fans are not having it. They are not happy about this. I know. I saw it all over Twitter. People they like, who does he think he is? I was, I was yeah. checking his edges, but they were there. And I was like, I, Barely. Yeah. I was like, his edges is going to be pulled all the way out because, yeah, they're not <laughs> liking it. They want to hear this baby making music, but you know. They think it's still confessions. It is not 2001. The man has to, like, just move forward and have a new sound and, you know, update a bit. And he didn't confess everything. Hmm. I love it. I love it. But yeah, you were telling us about the what? recent movie that you saw that you were just talking about before oh, we even started oh taping. My That's how goodness. mind-blowing it was. You guys need to go see The Hate You Give. And wow. it's so this is an acronym for THUG, right? The mm-hmm. Hate You Give. And when I say it's so, it's about wow. police brutality and someone gets shot. And Sounds you, heavy. And you think you don't want to see it because I, I didn't want to see it. My daughter came home from right. college and she was like, let's go see it. And I'm like, okay. Well, so I, but the message... Like mm. the effect that it has, the the brutality, the the mindset of even black officers, and and how they look at other black people. That you know is what I'm incredible. To say? I, it, I saw the trailer and I wanted to see it just based on that about having a talk. The mm-hmm. part where they're talking about the talk, I was like, wow, that that is heavy. And so that's heavy. But the girl, like, she went to an all a predominantly white school, mm-hmm. and she had to be play two faces. Like she she yeah. lived in a hood, and she went to, and which is really Nia's story. And mm-hmm. I was just kept looking at Nia like, wow, because in her mind, what she said that was so profound. She was like, even my white friends that use uh, slang and 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 hip hop terms, she doesn't do it because she feels that she would be deemed as ghetto. Oh, like wow. it's it's so you young. See how you didn't see. How how, you know, black people always have to maneuver that line. Yeah, you know I mean? so it was just constantly. so yeah. apparent. It was just so apparent. It was excellent. Please, guys, go take a take a look at it and then comment, comment, and we can have a discussion about it on our Facebook channel. Yeah, or, Facebook page, yeah. Yeah, and, and our YouTube channel because it was amazing. It, it was not, like, I, you know how sometimes you, you like, I saw this movie, uh, Four Color Girls. Mm-hmm. And when I, I, I didn't, you know, I never saw that one. I just felt like, mm. and when I and when I left the theater, I was that? dejected. I that's felt what that's horrible. what I felt like it was gonna I was, be. So I, never saw so it. I thought that I was, I thought that I was gonna feel that same feeling with the hate you give. Not there, there is there is a glimmer of hope if we all take responsibility. That's kind of like the message of Blackish too, though. Mm-hmm. Think about that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but you know who else is really hopeful? And I, lo- I love this woman, the legendary singer. Tina Turner, love her, love yeah. her. So she revealed in her new autobiography. Eat the cake, anime. No, I'm sorry. Mm, no. Um, in her new autobiography, My Love Story, which is what it's called. So she was so nervous, right? So nervous about taking off her wig that she was actually abstinent for about a year because she didn't want, you know, potential suitors to see her without her wig. Because, you know, you go to bed with Tina Turner, you wake up with anime. So. She didn't want that. Or Miss Seely from the color purple. No. Remember when Viola no. Davis took off her wig and her eyelashes and a for, for how to get away from murder? And we were all like this. I remember that moment was like. Ooh, she tur- she transitioned. But you know what? It's about self-love. It's about self-love yeah. and what we deem as beauty. Right? What, you have what? to learn to. Yeah. Because she's abused. She's been abused. She she has been, and I mean, like the good news is though, she eventually was able to do it. She met a man back in 1986. Name is Irwin, and she's been with him ever since. And you know what? This is real love. She recently had kidney failure, and you know who gave her a kidney? 
Hate it. Her man, her husband, Erwin. Don't they live in England somewhere? So, Switzerland. Oh, Switzerland. Because yeah, I she remember gave up Oprah, her U.S. citizenship. Yeah, I remember Oprah did a, um, a, a interview with her, and they she went to her house, and we were able to see the where she lives and the man, and he's a you know he looks like a little Italian man, but he was like hot looking. Yeah, Very and he's sexy. sixteen years younger than her. Go Tina. Oh, go Tina. <laughs> yum yum rang gang yum. I'm just saying. Girl. Yeah. Girl. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're speaking of black women, black girl <laughs> magic, black excellence. I love this next story. Mm -hmm. So I actually found this on blackexcellence.com. Uh -huh. And so this venture capital firm, and it kind of backs like underrepresented founders and stuff like that. So it started this thing called um, a diversity fund, and it's going to donate $36 million to invest exclusively in black female business owners. Oh, onikamclean.com. <laughs> Diva of comedy on Instagram. You can finance my uh, comedy career uh, as, mm, as well as my uh, mm -hmm. yoga active wear. And bigger than, <laughs> not bigger, but just as important, you can you can back what's the 411 TV. Right? Yeah, that, that, yes, yes. We Why? need that. What you trying to say? We need Why? that. What you trying to say? Okay. Up two was not viable businesses? Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> Listen, the creator and managing partner, Arlen Hamilton, who's also an African-American Afri woman, is calling it, get this, it's a about damn time fund. That's what she's calling it. Well, how do because you apply? How do you apply for the about damn time fund? Well, she's going to give a million dollars to um, 36 different entrepreneurs. I'm and about so, to scratch somebody's hair out. So, <laughs> look, I'm about to get ready. Look at me. Like, how much? When? Okay, so it's amazing. It is really amazing. I mean, one million dollars is life changing. That can really take your business from here to here. And you know what was crazy when I read it? She said that of the eighty-five billion dollars that like venture capitalists give, only two point two percent of that, that goes to black women. I'm only two percent. I'm surprised it's that, that high. I'm surprised that you said that. I thought you were going to say zero point. <laughs> no, I, okay. Oh my I god. I am surprised. I, I know yeah. you guys are surprised too. But okay. Well, so this it's about damn time. I like it that. is about damn time. Maybe you can support my cannabis uh, 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 business goals. I'm just saying, <laughs> what? Mm -mm. New York is? Okay. okay. I'm going to write an article. So I'll, I'll post it, and you guys can have it. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break, but in the meantime, now would be a great time to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the 4 in 1 TV. And if you're listening to us on podcast at Alexa Flash Briefing, Thank you so much. Now, go tell a friend, and both of you, come back and subscribe. We'll be right back with What's Poppin'. Stay tuned. Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner oh. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark! We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Welcome back to What's the 4 and one So last week we were talking about Kanye mm -hmm. and how he was about to go to the White House and meet with Donald Trump. And we had this whole back and forth well, he was about there, how honey. I thought it was going to be crazy. And it was crazy. So the what do you think now? Because y'all were dragging me. Y'all were like, yo, you got to take the president's ear. And I'm like, Kanye is not the man to do it. He's not. Focused enough, he's not well. Well, I agree. Kanye <laughs> is not well. Right. Mr. President Trump, that was a little bit ridiculous. Like, you should not have taken advantage of Kanye. But neither should have Charlemagne the guard. Like, Kanye needs to be getting some help. He should not be getting interviewed. And his views should not be publicized. Because he, we all know 
that Kanye is not well. I mean, a hat does not give you superpowers. Kanye, he went in on that. He was talking about even, superpowers. It makes me feel like a, Superman. I don't. I'm he, not wearing a red hat anymore. Like, I bet you sales of red hats have gone down. No. Just red hats, not that Mer make America great again. <laughs> Those just are going red, up. Just red hats. But yeah. you know what it is? How they're using him? Like the conservative move. People on the far right are kind of using him to kind of prop up this whole idea of, oh, there's another black man off the plantation, the Democratic plantation, and people are mad. No, we are not mad because he's off some plantation. We're mad because he's being exploited like clearly you go up there and you're just rambling on about you know I never had a father and you know Trump represents something to me and I'm like that is a man that needs some help and you know what's so crazy because normally the media edits that footage to make people that sound retarded sound smart right no. I've been on TV I know exactly what you can do in editing and they just kind of just like let them fall Right? Yeah, yeah. They they mm -hmm. made it, you know, like, mm -hmm. let's just, oh, look at what he's doing. Look at him. You know what I mean? Just Trump was silent and just let him go on and on. T.I. came out and was like, look, I, I'm i done with Kanye. Like, this right here is like, I'm, I'm over. He was like, that's the most repulsive, disgraceful, embarrassing act of desperation and auctioning off of one soul to gain power I've ever seen. That is, that's harsh. I just hope Kanye gets help. And Kim should be helping him. And his loved ones should be helping him. They may. They we'll, may be. We'll see. They may be. We'll see. Ah, damn, yes. Kanye. Damn, Trump. Okay. Yeah. This so okay. Kim, I can't believe Kim is more effective. She actually got the, the woman freed from prison. Right. And Kanye, we don't know what happened there. All right. So, yes. On to. On to Mashonda. Right? I don't yes. even want to talk about Mashonda because Kanye is such a big deal. God. Please, ah, He's, mental illness is a really, and I don't want to call him crazy, right? Because that's no, no, I don't, I don't. Call so him crazy I, I just don't know what's going on, and damn, you know, just damn. He needs, he needs help. Yeah. He's never been the same since his mom passed. Every, all black people say that, and you know the boy ain't never been right since his mom passed. <laughs> never has though. This, <laughs> this is real talk. You know, Jay Z is like, you know, and it's like, you know, if Trump was about that, he would really have not exploited that. You know what I mean? Beyonce made like, sure and he made sure to like, televise the entire I'm like, really? Yeah, they could have edited that a little bit. Yeah. So in other news, right? Mashonda. You yes. you know Mashonda is Swiss Beats first wife. Yes. Remember the all the Alicia Keys is a man taker. Mm -hmm. That's you know, she had had a relationship prior to Alicia Keys and, yeah, uh, and Alicia Swiss Keys Beats entered this picture that in 2010, yeah. So she has a new book out, and it's called Blend, The Secret to Co-Parenting and Creating a Balanced Family. Mm -hmm. I think that she probably uh, talked to Jada Pinkett Smith about this. Oh, because Jada the, red talk. <laughs> the Red Table Talk, because right. that was Jada's, uh, except the marry part. That was, they had like some beef for yeah. a long time. And um, so what Mashonda says in her book, guys, is it took six years before Alicia Keys, Swiss, and her could sit down and mm -hmm. have a conversation right. without being in their feelings and it's children involved so it's really like a thing i just yeah no that's what she said she said i didn't want to raise a broken child mm -hmm. we did it for our children we did it for our legacy we did it for our family so she really was like she said like she took a whole entire year and just pulled back no interviews no nothing she's like i needed to go deep into myself on an emotional mental and spiritual level and dissect it all and put it back together i had to go back to my inner child uh -huh. heal that Oh, that's and bring life. it back to adults. It's, so it's she real. was really, she went really deep. And with she's it. a singer. Yeah. You know that, right? So she's a singer. So, like, Alicia has this, like, fabulous career. Like, that's a lot. That's, that is a lot. That's a lot to watch a woman live a life that you wanted for yourself. Right. In a way. That you kind of had for yourself. You know mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say? It's, it's hard to watch. I, well, good for her. Because I, 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 I'm petty, and I still will be like, but you know what? No, she's, she's saying that, but she's actually a very spiritually grounded woman. She would she would make it work. She'd piece it up. Yeah, so is Alicia, right? And, yeah. and, and eventually yeah. you have to get over it. Mm -hmm. But that that was a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. man. I remember when that happened. I was like, Mashonda must be embarrassed. You yeah, know what she I'm saying? Was yeah. Because I remember like they had articles that uh, Mashonda reached out to Alicia Keys and was like, like give my marriage a chance. And Alicia's like, I already love him. Right. She's yeah. like, you know. That happened with Mary J. Blige, too. But you still oh, have that with Kendu. Kendu, yeah. Kendu wanted more. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's getting cash. Mm, okay. 
Well, who's not? I don't know. I don't know if this next person is getting cash. Fabulous. Um, so <laughs> he is fabulous. Is, is he still getting cash? Is he still? I don't know. When was the last time he came up with an album? But I. But fabulous gets a uh, tour money. Fabulous is still very respected in the rap industry. Period. Full stop. Go Brooklyn. Mm. Hashtag. Mm. Uh, well, all I'm right. I'm not gonna say anything. All right. It's just plain old hashtag. Well. <laughs> I wish we were talking about that and not this. October is the Domestic Violence Prevention and Awareness Month. Everything is and October so, month. <laughs> Cancer, so, your baby father month. It's, okay, sorry. Go yeah. So in this case, remember we reported like several months ago that um, Fabulous got into this really big domestic altercation with Emily B., and a father, and he took out a pair of scissors, and he was threatening to kill both of them or what have right. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, now he has four felony counts against him, and that case might go to trial. But this is what happened. Uh -huh. Allegedly, the rumor has it they got married. Remember, he was with her for over a decade. They got uh -huh. all these two kids and everything. Kids, I think one's 11, one's 3. And allegedly, they're mm -hmm. denying it. They're denying it. They're saying that's not true, but... Allegedly, they're getting married. So if they have indeed get gotten married, well, they have, what do you think about that? Well, they that? have a privilege, right? So a wife doesn't have to testify against her husband. You know, mm. that's just like attorney-client privilege. Right. There's certain privileges in law. Um, See? Mm. Mm. Got me looking sideways now. Like, okay. Yeah. So, got it. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And you know what was really weird about this story, too? Because TMZ is reporting now that the day after that whole thing happened, we, we saw the video. The video was crazy. Mm -hmm. The day after, Emily Bustamante's dad contacted him, and they had a conversation, and they, like, pieced it up, and everything was fine. And now they're hanging out like normal, so much so to where if it goes to trial, Emily's dad would even testify on Fabulous's behalf. So that is so, crazy so, so maybe what was not... Um, recorded, maybe he was, you know, in, in, you know, enticed, not enticed, um, what do you, you call it? You were incited? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, may, yeah, like you don't know what happened. So that's the thing, you get a part of the, the video, right? And then you have to think about it also. Did he's, they, probably did they get, there, he's probably their cash cow. Did they get, exactly. Did they get paid? That's what I'm saying. They got paid. Because I'm like, this sounds but I don't real think, crazy. I don't even think that they need to get paid. But right? you know, I think but that he's probably like always come. paying. If he takes care of their family, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm just not certain. That was wild style to me. Because remember she said that he he hit her so hard, he knocked out several of her teeth. But do remember you think that? that's the first time that he's done that? No. And okay. that's why I, it's, it's shocking to me. I'm like, without some other you know agenda going on i do not understand how a father is like yeah it's all good i'll testify on your behalf ladies it's about the money ladies listen it's all about the money domestic violence hotline you can call it you can get out of these relationships you do not have to tolerate this you can do better yeah yeah that's that's the thing you have safe horizons totally go to safe horizons there's so many different you're doing work with them yeah, aren't you? i am i am like yeah. and they hide the women it's not like those those addresses are public you can they'll right. they'll they'll give you get you some place to go they'll come pick you up they'll help you get out like domestic violence is really really a serious thing and what happens especially when you're like dealing with rappers and uh, uh street people and drugs like like that comes mm. with the culture you know like like, I remember mm. growing up, I grew up in the, in the 80s and the 90s, and you wanted a bad boy, and certain stuff came with that, and it was some dangerous yeah, things. that misogynistic, and, and it, was, it was like, if he slapped me, or he wasn't playing, and he's like, so about it, and so many women you know think that that's a, that's an okay thing, because it comes with the culture. You know what happened? We were just talking about Tina Turner. You know, Ike Turner was beating Tina Turner like crazy. And I'm <laughs> reading up on that, and he said, you know, I, maybe I beat up on her, but no more than anybody else is beating up on their wives. Right. And I'm like, wow, that but is insane. But it's not really insane because... It's terrible. Because, I mean, even when this culture started, people's wives were their property, and you can kind of do with your wife what you will. Which like, is wrong. Right. Yeah, it's wrong, but, but I'm saying when you grow up in that kind of culture and you see it happening, people just turn a blind eye. There, there are times when people are you know, being abused and you try to step in and, and the, the woman or the person, the victim period, like flips on yeah, you. Yeah, says leave they me have alone, this, I got this, right? I'm so, in control. So stuff yeah. happens and so a lot, oftentimes a, 
victims don't know that they are being victimized if someone is making you feel uncomfortable if someone is uh calling you names if, if, making if, you feel insecure like if we so, right, last time. just yeah. just insecurities all those things that are happening and you're just not feeling solid or you're feeling like you can't make decisions for yourself probably you're being abused by that <laughs> right, person exactly. right? and you probably at the very comes- least at the very least talk to somebody this is what's happening this is what i'm feeling what do you think you know like sometimes you just have yeah, to use your voice because that's what abusers to do too right they, they isolate, isolate you, you and make sure that you're not talking to anybody that you're not contacting friends family they control that and people so, you have are to je- break so they say things like what's what's abusive uh uh, rhetoric. It's like uh, they're jealous of you. Forget your mother. Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm like, I, I yeah. had a joke about that. I'm like, you have you you with the abuse. I'm like, f your mom. You're like, yeah, yeah, f her. Right? Because <laughs> what happens is you start thinking it that wa- this is the only person you. that you can depend you. on. And 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 even after you leave, know that there are many many moons t- yeah. to, that you're gonna have to like go through in order to be whole. Heal. Yeah, it's, right. a, it's a lot. It's a lot. I. I Oh, gosh. Yeah. yeah. Fabulous. Emily, your daughters are watching you. Get it. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you. Come look at Mr. Feather. Yay. Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Oh, Nika girl. What? This show is over. Time always flies. I don't know. We have a lot of fun. I guess that's why it flies mm-hmm. so fast. But that's going to do it for this week's edition of What's the 4 and one your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. Until next week, check out our, check out our like, website. Until next week, check out our website, <laughs> www.whatsthe411.com. <laughs> and remember to hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the 4 and one TV. And re- remember to describe, describe. Subscri- Sorry, guys. That's, Subscri- that's, that's, that's that's the black stone. Yeah, like That's the black stone. Well, no, I had six before we started. Okay, so listen. <laughs> Subscribe and download our podcast. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music, Stitcher, and TuneIn. You, this is what you do. You say, Alexa, I want to hear what's the 411 TV. And she'll say, okay, Annika. And then we'll come what up. The, okay, the <laughs> going off the rails. But yes, I'm Kizzy Cox. And on behalf of my co-host, Onika McLean, thank you for spending your time with What's the 4 and one We will see you next time.